The other day, as I was ricocheting slowly off the blue walls of this room, bouncing from typewriter to piano, from bookshelf to an envelope lying on the floor, I found myself in the L section of the dictionary where my eyes fell upon the word lanyard. No cookie nibbled by a French novelist could send one more suddenly into the past. A past where I sat at a workbench at a camp by a deep Adirondack lake, learning how to braid thin plastic strips into a lanyard, a gift for my mother. I had never seen anyone use a lanyard, <laughs> or wear one if that's what you did with them, but that did not keep me from crossing strand over strand again and again until I had made a boxy red and white lanyard for my mother. She gave me life and milk from her breasts, and I gave her a lanyard. <laughs> she nursed me in many a sick room, lifted teaspoons of medicine to my lips, set cold face cloths on my forehead, then led me out into the airy light and taught me to walk and swim, and I, in turn, presented her with a lanyard. <laughs> here are thousands of meals, she said, and here is clothing and a good education. And here is your lanyard, I replied, <laughs> which I made with a little help from a counselor. Here is a breathing body and a beating heart, strong legs, bones and teeth, and two clear eyes to read the world, she whispered. And here, I said, is the lanyard I made at camp. <laughs> and here, I wish to say to her now, is a smaller gift, not the archaic truth that you can never repay your mother, but the rueful admission that when she took the two-tone lanyard from my hands, I was as sure as a boy could be that this useless, worthless thing I wove out of boredom would be enough to make us even. The first stanza of the poem includes very rich imagery. Billy Collins employs words such as ricocheting and bouncing to describe his movement around the room. This allows readers to clearly imagine him wandering about the blue-walled room eventually finding himself in the L section of the dictionary. Collins also makes the time in which this takes place very clear by saying the other day. In the second stanza, Collins compares his discovery of the word lanyard to a cookie nibbled by a French novelist. This is saying that they both bring back memories. The comparison also includes the time switch from present to past. Collins again uses imagery when he says, by a deep Adirondack in the third stanza, Collins uses repetition to emphasize the tediousness of making the lanyard. The color of the lanyard, red and white, will represent something mentioned later in the poem. But that did not keep me from crossing strand over strand again and again until I had made a boxy red and white lanyard for my mother. In the fourth stanza, Billy Collins uses alliteration of L words to emphasize the word lanyard. She gave me life and milk from her breasts, and I gave her a lanyard. She nursed me in many a sick room, lifted teaspoons of medicine to my lips, set cold face cloths on my forehead, and then led me out into the airy light. The fifth stanza is a good example of tone. When the child speaks, it is light, joyful, and hopeful, whereas the mother sounds strong, assertive, and somewhat worn. Here are thousands of meals, she said, and here is clothing and a good education. And here's your lanyard, I replied, which I made with a little help from a counselor. The, the red and white color of the lanyard mentioned earlier in the poem represents the bones, heart, and teeth mentioned in this stanza. Collins also uses alliteration of B words to make the rhythm more heartbeat-like. Here is a breathing body, a beating heart, strong legs, bones, and teeth, and two clear eyes to read the world with. And here, I said, is the lanyard I made at camp. And here, I wish to say to her now, is a smaller gift, 
not the archaic truth. At the end of the sixth stanza, Collins shifts from a comparative tone to a confessional by saying, and here I wish to say to her now. He also uses alliteration and consonants. The last word of the poem goes off rhythm to emphasize the life lesson of the poem. I was as sure as a boy could be that this useless, worthless thing I wove out of boredom would be enough to make us even. The message of Billy Collins' The Lanyard is that we should never take our mothers for granted. We should appreciate them, for they do so much for us, and ask for so little in return. The lanyard represents the complexity of a mother's love, the thought that counts, and a child's innocence. This poem is an ode to all mothers. Thank you.